So I'm Kaylee, and I studied Education Studies and English at VGU. I liked how varied they were, but also how well they fit in with each other. Um, when I applied, I wanted to be a secondary school teacher, so I wanted to do English so that I could teach English in a secondary school, but I also wanted the kind of the knowledge that, that came with Ed Studies um, to help me kind of prepare to teach. It was good actually, it was one of those things where I was quite nervous at times in the run-up to coming to university, thinking, you know, is it something that I'm going to be able to manage? Is it going to be, you know, way too much to handle? But they, they really do structure it so that it's, it's a lot easier than that it might seem at first. So there's, there's a lot of kind of work to make sure that it all balances out really well. All of it, to be honest, it was it was so good. There were quite a few modules that fit in really well with with education studies in particular. So we did stuff like adolescence and literature. Um, there were modules on childhood and literature, and it was just it was really helpful to kind of be able to see things from that point of view. We did stuff about like environmental writing, uh, poetry. There was the option to do creative writing, which I really really enjoyed. So it was really nice to kind of have so much variety and make sure that. I was getting kind of a really broad but also really in-depth <laughs> experience from all. Yes, yeah, so in first year we don't pick our own modules for, um, for anything, but in second and third year we were able to kind of start choosing subjects that were more catered to our interests. And as we kind of progressed, we were able to pick texts that might not have been on the core reading list, but you know, were still relevant to, to the content. Um, and it made it really, really good in that we could basically tailor the entire experience to, to our interests and where we wanted to be with the subject, which was really helpful. Yeah, definitely. It was really helpful because being such a small cohort, we were able to get to know each other quite well and then being able to discuss and the actual content of the lectures and the text that we were reading, it was really, really helpful to, I guess, verbalise those thoughts and be able to hear other people's perspectives because quite often, you know, they'd come out with something that you might not have even considered, but then it would end up being really, really helpful to your work. So that was really good. Yeah, definitely. Even things kind of as simple as analysing poetry or developing the skills of kind of looking more into text and thinking about why something is the way that it is has been really, really helpful and it's something that going into teaching is going to be massively beneficial, I think. There's been so many things where even though at first you might think, well, I don't really know how that, how that relates to me, I don't know how that's going to benefit what I want to do. By the end of things, you do usually end up kind of whether consciously or not, going, actually, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's going to be really helpful. Do it. Absolutely do it. It, it, was, it was so good. The staff are amazing. They're so helpful. They just really, really want to see you succeed. And being part of such a small uni is so good for kind of your professional and personal development. You, you get to meet new people. You get to really, you get to build really, really good connections essentially with your whole course. And you also get to kind of have that contact time with lecturers that you might not get at a bigger university. So that's really, really good.